Arvind Garcia Street, Cubao, Quezon City on February 19, 1969, three years before martial law. His downfall was the handiwork of combined elements of the Metrocom and the Quezon City Police Force. He died not because his personal friends failed him. His death was a logical conclusion of his violent career. Twenty-seven murder cases are attributed to Napoleon Agra. Whether he was a psychiatric case or a man whose hunger for vengeance distorted his sense of justice is open to question. What is known is that Napoleon Agra was a black mark in the history of Coloca. His reign of terror excelled that of another notorious Cavite outlaw, Nardo Putin. The lives of men like Napoleon Agra and Nardung Putik are a testimony to the senselessness of crime and violence. They tell us that there is neither glory nor profit in lawlessness, and that law always triumphs over evil elements. But crime does not pay. It is worthy to remember that their careers flourish under the old, perverted society. In a large sense, Napoleon Agra was a victim of the benighted world before martial law. The advent of the new order will make his breed obsolete.